Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 6. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let us start. This uh, x plus 2 can be written as uh, x plus uh, 3 minus 1 times uh, this x plus uh, 3 times uh, this x plus 4 can be written as uh, x plus uh, 3 plus uh, 1 is equal to 6. Now, we suppose that let x plus uh, 3 is equal to y. So, this equation will become y minus 1 times y times uh, y plus uh, 1 is equal to 6. We rearrange these terms, uh, this will become y times uh, y minus 1 times uh, y plus 1 is equal to 6. Now, by using this algebraic identity a minus b times uh, a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This uh, y minus 1 times uh, y plus 1 will become y times uh, y squared minus 1 is equal to 6. Distribute this y, y times y squared y cubed and y times negative 1, negative y is equal to 6. Move this 6 to the left hand side, this will become y cubed minus y minus 6 is equal to 0 x y cubed minus y. This uh, negative 6 can be written as a negative 8 plus 2 is equal to 0 x y cubed minus y minus this 8 is same as 2 cubed plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we combine this y cubed with this negative 2 cubed and this negative y with this plus 2. So, this will become y cubed minus 2 cubed minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, here we have a difference of 2 cubes. So, by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. This y cubed minus 2 cubed will become y minus 2 times y squared plus 2 times y plus 2 squared are 4. From these two terms negative y plus 2 we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this expression y minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, y minus 2 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this uh, y squared plus uh, 2y plus 4 and this negative 1. In bracket left uh, y squared plus uh, 2 times y plus uh, 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. Next, y minus 2 times y squared plus 2 times y this 4 minus 1 will become plus 3 is equal to 0. From here either this expression y minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression y squared plus 2 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of y is equal to 2 and from this quadratic equation we can rewrite this equation as 
y squared plus 2 times y plus this 3 is same as 1 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This y squared plus 2y plus 1 will become y plus 1 whole squared plus this 2 is equal to 0. Move this 2 to the right hand side this will become y plus 1 whole squared is equal to negative 2 and from here we take square root of both sides. So, this square will be considered out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with y plus 1 is equal to plus minus root negative 2. Next y plus 1 is equal to plus minus this root negative 2 is same as root negative 1 times root 2 and uh, y plus uh, 1 is equal to plus minus this root negative 1 will become i times root 2. Move this 1 to the right hand side this will become y is equal to negative 1 plus minus i times root 2 and first we found this value of y 2 y is equal to 2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 3 is equal to y. We have supposed that uh, x plus uh, 3 is equal to y. So, when y is equal to 2 then this equation will become x plus 3 is equal to 2. Move this 3 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to 2 minus 3 and x is equal to negative 1. This is the first value of x this is the first solution of this equation. Now, when y is equal to negative 1 plus minus i times root 2 then this will become x plus 3 is equal to negative 1 plus minus i times root 2. Move this 3 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to negative 3 minus 1 plus minus i times root 2 and x will be equal to negative 4 plus minus i times root 2. From here we get two values of x, x2 is equal to negative 4 plus i times root 2 and x3 is equal to negative 4 minus i times root 2. So, we have three solutions for x. Now, let us verify and see that whether these solutions are valid or not. To verify we use this original equation x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 6. When x is equal to negative 1 then this will become negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times negative 1 plus 4 is this equal to 6. Negative 1 plus 2 will become 1 times negative 1 plus 3 will become 2 times negative 1 plus 4 will become 3 is this equal to 6 
and 3 times 2 6 times 1 is 6 is equal to 6 you can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means that uh, this is a valid solution now when x is equal to negative 4 plus i times root 2 then this equation will become negative 4 plus uh, i times uh, root 2 plus 2 times uh, negative 4 plus uh, i times uh, root 2 plus uh, 3 times uh, negative 4 plus uh, i times uh, root 2 plus 4 is this equal to 6 now this uh, negative 4 plus 2 will become negative 2 plus uh, this i times uh, root 2 times uh, this negative 4 plus 3 will become negative 1 plus uh, i times uh, root 2 times uh, this uh, negative 4 will be considered with this positive 4 and uh, here we are left with uh, i times uh, root 2 is this equal to 6 now first we multiply these two expressions so this is negative 2 times negative 1 will become positive 2 and negative 2 times i root 2 will become negative 2 i times root 2 this i times root 2 times negative 1 will become negative i times root 2 and i times root 2 times i times root 2 will become plus 2i squared times uh, this expression i times uh, root 2 is this equal to 6 next 2 this uh, negative 2i times root 2 minus i times root 2 will become negative 3 times uh, i root 2 plus uh, 2 times this i squared i squared is equal to negative 1 so we replace this i squared with negative 1 times this i times root 2 is this equal to 6 now this 2 times negative 1 will become negative 2 so this will be cancelled out with this positive 2 and uh, here we are left with uh, negative 3 times uh, i times root 2 times uh, this expression i times uh, root 2 is this equal to 6 now this uh, negative 3i times i will become negative 3i squared times uh, this root 2 times root 2 will become 2 is this equal to 6 and we replace this i squared with the negative 1 this will become negative 3 times uh, negative 1 times this 2 is this equal to 6 this negative 3 times negative 1 will become positive 3 times 2 is this equal to 6 3 times 2 is 6 is equal to 6 you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means that this second value of x negative 4 plus i times root 2 is a valid solution and in the same way if we verify this negative 4 minus i times root 2 this is also a valid solution